Hey everybody, it's DataBits here, and I'm going to show you in less than 10 minutes why I don't hate Windows 8. And if you're watching this, maybe you hate Windows 8, or even the thought of Windows 8. But hopefully your mind will be somewhat changed after you watch this video. What I have here is a Lifebook B series uh, laptop made by Fujitsu. It has a touch screen uh, on it, and it also has a fingerprint reader. I got this off of eBay for less than $100, and I thought, you know, what a way to test Windows 8 since it's all about touchscreen, and I'm going to need a touchscreen laptop to, uh, to test it out. Now, this one doesn't do multi-touch, but uh, it did come with a cool stylus, and uh, I can at least show you how you can touch stuff on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and power up this laptop just to show you how quickly on this older laptop how um, it boots. This thing has about uh, one uh, gigabyte of RAM. It has uh, less than two gigahertz processor, and it has a Core 2 Solo processor in it. This is the packaging. This is Windows 8 Pro, and I got it at Micro Center for less than $40. And as you can see, it comes with the 64 and 32-bit versions of Windows 8. All right, so I work for a company and I manage the computer network there and I have not yet tested Windows 8 in a network environment, but I'm starting to get it on the personal level, how it can uh, enhance the lives of people who um, use their computer at home predominantly. So uh, maybe I'll make another video later about how it works in a uh, corporate environment. But for now, I think it's a fantastic upgrade if you happen to be thinking about getting it. Uh, Windows, if you're watching, or Microsoft, if you're watching, $40 is a fantastic price for this operating system. Anything above that is too much, okay? Just uh, throw that out there. So here we go. I'm going to uh, tap the screen, and right there it shows that uh, I am registered on this computer with my Hotmail account, and I'm gonna go ahead and just swipe my finger across the fingerprint reader there, and I'm gonna go ahead and log in. All right, so this is your start menu. This is the part that uh, I think scares the heck out of most of us. It's like, what in the world are we doing here? All right, this is actually pretty cool. Now, rather than just having a screen full of stagnant, dead icons that don't do anything, why not turn each icon into a, a tile? And on that tile have live data coming up on the screen that really relates to your life. This is stuff that you are interested in. So I've already gone through and customized most of these tiles. For example, this is the people tile and this is registered with my Facebook account. So my friends who are on Facebook are coming up here. Here is my photos and this also links to Facebook. I don't have any photos actually loaded on the laptop yet, but uh, you can see some stuff is coming in there. Uh, we've got the Microsoft Store, which is the app store for Microsoft. I've got my weather here, I've got some sports news coming up, I've got some regular news coming up. Now I can't swipe on this particular laptop because it doesn't support that, but I can use my, uh, my little uh, uh, magic wand here and move it over a little bit. You can see that I've got some apps that I've downloaded from the store there. I've got uh, a remote desktop app and a flow free game, my eBay app, my Fresh Paint app, and an Agent P Strikes Back app that I got all for free. So you say, all right, what is it about this that's really cool? Well, I think what Microsoft has done here is we have two separate working environments now, two separate computing environments. We have what I would call the mobile environment, which is what we're in right now. And then if we go to our desktop, which is where we run our legacy Windows apps, we are in a different environment. And I've noticed that apps that you load here load like they normally do. But apps that you load from the, the new start menu are actually mobile versions of their apps, or at least they appear to be. They're very small downloads, not like hundreds of megabytes, which is you know typically what you have for any app that you load on Windows these days. So if you're on a slow um, uh, internet connection, then uh, working in this environment is going to be very cool for you because most of these apps are really quick to download. Um, so what else is new about Windows 8 and why I don't hate it? I think this is very cool because if apps are written smaller and leaner for this environment, then uh, your computer is going to run faster. 
and uh, it's just going to generally be a whole lot more fun. I think this would be a perfect Christmas gift for your kids, or a birthday gift, depending on what time of the year it is, because it's going to give your kids and your family so much more functionality to the computer that you didn't have before. For example, before it was like, what am I going to do with my computer now? I've got to go to the store, I've got to buy some software and make it run. Well, now you can just go on here and download stuff from the, uh, from the Windows Store. All right, so I tapped on that. I would imagine on a faster computer that these tiles are going to open a lot quicker. And uh, on an older machine like this one, it takes a little bit, a couple seconds. So here's their store, and I can scroll around in here, go across the screen there. And I'm going a little too fast. Sometimes my finger works a little bit better. So we've got uh, news and weather type apps. We've got some books and reference. Got some sports apps. Got, um, let's see, we've got some music and video apps, photo apps, entertainment apps, etc., etc. Okay? So, um, I don't know, everybody's favorites games. They've got pretty, uh, a pretty good library of games on here, and a lot of the games so far are free games. So you can get a lot of these games uh, for very little money. This one's only 40 megabytes to download, and it's free. Okay, so just an example. And I can uh, tip the, tap the arrow there and go back. And let's see, this is the Agent P game that I already downloaded. And it's 13 megabytes, okay? And it's very cool. It has uh, very cool graphics, very smooth running game for this particular environment. All right, so if, let's say I want to get out of this. Um, on this particular machine, I'll have to move my cursor up to the top and see it turns into a little glove. I can click and just throw it down and it goes away. I've closed that app. And then uh, if I want to see what else I have opening, I can point up here to the top left of the screen and it gives me a little thumbnail. I can click that thumbnail and it will toggle between the apps that I have open and I don't have anything else open other than that right now. So. You know, I think uh, I think we're on to something here. I think this is a this is a cool concept. Um, so far, Windows has not Windows 8 has not intruded upon my life like Windows 7 and asking me for updates every time I blink. Uh, as you know, with Windows 7, you turn it on, it wants to update. You turn it off, it wants to update. And so far, I've seen one indication of an update, and it said uh, that this update was going to occur. Uh, and I forget when it did it, but I went ahead and told it to update, and it really didn't take that long to install the updates that it needed. So, I think we're on to something, I think we're making some improvements, and I think this mobile environment is actually going to work and give your computer uh, some more functionality. I think it's going to make your phone like a, I mean your computer, like a smartphone, in the sense that uh, uh, it, it's going to have more functionality than it did before. So, um, anyway, this was my quick review. I'm not going to get into the details of, of what's under the hood, but I think it's worth checking out, especially if you can buy a, a copy for $40. And again, as, as of this video is being made, you can still get it for like $38.88 at uh, Micro Center. Once you order it online, you'll have to go to one of their stores and pick it up. But I'm not aware of anybody else selling it that cheap at this point. So anyway, I'll just show you how quickly I can get out of here and I can just lock my screen. And there we go. I, my screen is now locked, and if I want to get back in, swipe my finger on the keyboard or on the uh, memory card reader, and or <laughs> on the fingerprint reader, and I'm back in. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this quick overview, and uh, again, I give it a thumbs up, especially at that price point. Uh, give it a try, install it on your computer. Uh, if you have Windows 7, the upgrade is supposed to be uh, very, very intuitive, and everything stays like it is. Uh, if you have Vista or XP, uh, it will keep your files, but it will delete all your programs off of the computer in doing the upgrade. So, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day, and hopefully you'll check out Windows 8.